Hi everybody, I'm really sorry we're so late. Unfortunately, we had a little bit of a technical issue because we've just got this camera and it kept wanting to do the video from our big computer. And so it wasn't seeing me, it was just seeing Liz. So um, I have to say apologies for that and I'm sorry we're late. I don't know if there's anybody there yet, but if they are, please say hi. So, um, are you there, Drew? Are you still there? Are you all gone to bed? What, you know, what? Anyway, so I'm going to do today, I'm going to show you a little bit more about Spongits, which Drew is um, selling in the States. Uh, the order is going, it's a great big box there full of sponges for Drew to go out on Monday morning and um, uh, just ask questions. So, uh, I've got Liz with me, and so I'm not looking at the computer, which is over there I'm just looking at the screen so if you want to ask anything just ask away and I'm just going to demonstrate this little easy technique doing a little shell and uh, dolphin piece on um, a scrap piece well it's really like a scrap piece of this because we keep I paint so much and demonstrate so much that I just keep rubbing it off so I've done this many many times and after I've done that, if you if there's anybody there and you want me to demonstrate anything else, uh, like the moon um, for Halloween, I can demonstrate that. Um, if you want to see some videos already done, I've posted three on YouTube, Rachel Bias Ceramics YouTube, and there's one more to go up. I think it's a Christmas one, and then we'll do an odd other one. Um, unfortunately, we can't really do them on other groups because um, because besides being just like a free video, it's it is promotional because because I do design and sell these sponges. So we'll probably just stick to doing them on Rachel Bias's YouTube, and then you can just watch them when you want. You wouldn't be able to watch this one because this one will just disappear into oblivion. Or unless it's still in Drew's, I don't really know, but it won't be in my. I believe it's gone once you've done it. So I'm going to face the camera down and uh, please do ask questions. Uh, I think have we got one person there at the moment. We've got two people there. Oh, yay, yay. So uh, who's the two people? It's, we've got Andrea and Connie. Hello, Andrea and Connie then. So uh, without further ado, we will have a go at doing this. Okay. There we go. So I already started because while we were trying to get the technical issues gone, it's a bit more difficult for me to see because I can't see the big screen anymore. But um, what I'm doing is I'm just doing this is a flat platter and I've base base coated it, I base coated it white, and um, then I'm going to use the moon sponge. Now we call it a moon sponge because basically it was designed to do the moon, um, which looks really good i can show you that done on a halloween piece here look so if i put that up to the camera you can see that it's quite it looks quite funky hi sylvia oh hi sylvia happy birthday to you <laughs> so um i hope you got your yeah. parcel did you get your parcel and emma hi emma so um I'm going to blend these uh, shells. So I'm going to do the moon sponge in the middle here first and just create like a watery design. It's just a bit ad lib, there's no idea what it's going to look like. So uh, all you do is I've loaded in into um, my colour. We could do it a bit lower actually. Mm -hmm. Can that glow a little bit more? That yeah, can because I can't really keep holding it up the way the tongue. But anyway, I'm going to sponge. So um, I'm hoping this is still damp. Yeah, let's just try it there. No, it's not very damp. So I'm going to, the moon sponge is just slightly moist and um, and I've put two colours in it. I've put a light blue and a jade uh, underglaze. Um, I use a product called Colour to Clay, which is um, my own, my own colour. But you in America, you can use, uh, you've got um, Stroke and Co or Concepts, or you could be using, um, I used to love cover coats that Duncan made, or you can use one stroke. So I've base coated the plate white, first of all, and this is slightly damp. And I'm just going to touch, just going to touch, touch the, um, create my background of my water. 
and it makes it, it it doesn't have to be water it could be anything really it just creates a nice little background if you can see that if you can see yeah and then i'm going to create um a garland of um shells so we've got two shells here and then we've got the same two shells come in at smaller size so we've got the conch shell, conch, conch, conch shell, oh, what a silly name. And then we've got the, um, oh, what's the other one? Scallop. Scallop, yeah, scallop. I'm not good at my shells. So um, I'm going to blend with my finger. This is how I, how I use them. These are slightly damp. This is a brand new sponge. And I'm just going to stroke it with the colour. And then get the red and stroke that in as well. And you can see that I haven't got it thick or sticking out. I, think, I don't know if you can see from the side, it's just absorbed into the sponge a little bit. And then I'm going to um, just pop some little shells on. So if I just pop that on there and just give it hardly a push at all, it's just touching and release and it's there. You all seeing that touching and release, no questions, touching and release. And you can see, with my particular product, you can do many stamps before reloading. I don't see a need to reload. It's quite nice if they go a bit lighter as well. And then I'll do the other one, the other little sponge in the larger size. Uh, and I'm going to blend this one in a little bit of uh, terracotta. And then let's get a piece of paper because otherwise I'll keep wiping it down my trousers. Um, did you have a nice birthday, Sylvia? Did you have prawns for tea? Any answer? What did you What did you get for your birthday? Twenty one again, and it's my birthday tomorrow. I've just got some roses from my husband and some chocolates, and some huggy slippers, but they haven't come yet. So um, I'm going to pop this on. Okay, so I'm just going to. Do it different ways, face it into different ways, just popping it on, push, push. Can you see? You hardly have to touch at all. Are we getting any questions there? I can't see the screen. No questions? Oh, quite a lot. And then here I've got um what well, it was a big sponge this size. Uh, with three um, poppy leaves on but I've chopped them up and I'm using them as seaweed so I'm basically putting a little bit of terracotta on there with my finger and then a little bit of jade with my finger and then a little bit of brown with my finger and it's you know it's not it's hardly you can see it's not sticking up it's not shiny I'm not going to pounce it on too hard because I did have a lady who who did some pieces and she used um, Mako and she put too much colour on and her bisque was too dry as well so it was not great so just going to touch and let go touch and let go and do a little bit more um, I'll try a little bit of um, uh, mint Get a little bit of mint Going to jade, a little bit of brown. Are you there, Drew? Haven't heard from is Drew there? No. Would have hoped so, since it's her channel. Um, I did. I did put them on. Um, where did I put it now? On the uh, clay buddies, but I go into trouble. So um, <laughs> you aren't supposed to put anything promotional on even though it was a little workshop so but i am going to do some um brush stroke things as well so can you see just how that's working out and then i'm going to switch now to the smaller shell so the smaller shell uh we'll have this one dark pink so i can pounce it oh you can't really see that can you um i can pounce it up and down on my in my tile like this but then it would just be a flat color just one colour. So then I would put a little bit of something else on with my finger. So 
I might put like a little bit of blue. I mean, I know you don't really get shells quite this colour. I just think uh, it's a bit of artistic license, isn't it, when you're painting a pop. So we we'll put some little, uh, let me see where we should put that one. So here we go, little one there, give us a little push. And then we'll have one there, one here. And it's quite nice when you've just got got them um, not totally on, on the pot. You see how that's working out? And then I'm going to switch to the other one. The little, um, whatever it is, scallop, no, yeah. Yeah, scallop, oh, that's it. See, Liz doesn't know her leaves. She's always saying to me, uh, oh, this lady wants um, an, a, an oak leaf in her order, and she's there packing a sycamore leaf. <laughs> and I can't get it. You know, how can you not know your leaves? Well, I don't know my shells. <laughs> so there you go. It's all different. So, gosh, they're a quiet bunch, aren't they? I thought you'd have loads of questions or something. What did you have for your birthday then? Did you say? Hello to you. Oh, hi, Drew. Sorry we're late. She's here for a bit, she says. Technical, technical issues. Okay, mm, that's good. Quite liking that. You can see there's quite a lot of, quite a lot. Is that, is that looking okay? Mm -hmm. uh, and then um, I'm going to go back to my little leaf i'm gonna actually i think i'll go for the bigger leaf yeah okay so uh so now i'm going to use one of the other poppy leaves there's like three sizes there's two here so we'll have this what color should we have it um hmm. i might do a little bit of gray that's a bit of gray in this leaf in this bit of um leaf so just smudge it on like this with your finger and then get another colour and smudge that in and it blends, it naturally blends like that and then might have a little bit of pink going up one side. I was thinking that's a strange bit of a colour scheme but anyway and then again just pop that in there, touch like that and like that and here. Good. What? We've got a lead subscribe to YouTube. Oh, good. Ruth. Ruth oh, goody goody. Goody goody. So, well, eventually, when, when it takes, if, if ever, if I'm not on my Zimmer and retired by the time I've got enough subscribers, uh, I thought I would do some private um, lessons on there. You can do that. So, that just for the people who subscribe. So, but it's uh, cool. It's hard going. Gosh, my son's been doing YouTube for five years. He's he's on three and a half thousand subscribers. He's a youth. What's he called now? A what's he called now? Um, oh, I can't remember. It's all to do with space. Youth. Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue, but anyway. And he does that. He's obsessed with it. But mm. there we go. So that's just probably nearly enough for the edge. So I would probably like this just like this, but um, uh, I'm going to put some dolphins on because I said that would, so you can see the dolphin sponge. So you've got your garland of shells and a bit of seaweed going on there or what resembles seaweed. You could put some um, texture into it. We have this little textured sponge. Um, I'm not quite sure what we have it made out of, but it's the, the both the moon sponge and this textured sponge I made because at the time it was very difficult to get sea sponges and then I decided not to get sea sponges anymore to save the planet a bit. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to do like a little bit, make it look a little bit like a, um, oh, what do they call coral. it now? Coral, coral going on. You see it's my tea time, I'm starving so I'm uh, Ian's making a nice curry. Right, so I'm going to use that on its side. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. And just put a little bit of um, texture in there. Mm 
with different colors. I don't know if I'm liking that. Oh, that's a bit dark. I use this a lot on the edge of things. So if I wanted to do an edge, what would I do on that? I'm not sure yet. I'll have to think about it. So, right, I'm going to do um, a dolphin. So the dolphin comes in two sizes here. So... Um, they're slightly damp, that's the way that you should use them. So you can't get any water out of them if I was to squeeze them. Um, but they're not bone dry. And this tends to be, especially earthenware, tends to, to pull pull the colour. And sometimes this, the sponge can actually stick to it. So I'm going to put the dolphin into my grey. So I've got the grey on there. Smear it in. I pounced it up and down a little bit because it was one colour. But then I'm going to colour him a little bit. So I'm going to put him... So he's got a little bit of blue, um, put a little bit of blue on his under underbelly, like that. I wonder what colour beak they've got, Bill. Um, just the grey. Is it just grey? Yeah. Well, maybe should have put a bit of darker, yeah. She's read my mind. So I'm going to mix a little bit of darker and just put his little, his little beak. Or whatever you could bill. Is it a bill? I don't know. Whatever a dolphin has. What is it, guys? Is it a bill? Is it a beak? So, and then I'm just going to have these going round. So I'm going to touch. And we, we might spoil it. I don't know because we didn't think about it first. So touch and then there's. Drew's just saying that she sent some messages so there might be other people joining. Oh, okay. So touch. So, give it a little push. Oh, he looks nice. Um, that touch, a little push. What do you think, guys? Oh, it's called a nose. It's called a nose. Who says yeah, it's a it's nose? Drew. Oh, Drew. <laughs> Thank you, Drew. It's called a nose. And then the little fella. So, I'll just show you the colour. I pounce it up and down into the grey. Yeah, make sure it's disappeared. Do you know we had hail today out here? Great, well, not great big compared to what you get, but America. America. But big enough. Yeah, battered all my annuals. Um, and cold. I've actually put the heating on at the minute because I'm cold. So done his little nose and give him a little bit of a blue underside a bit of blue on the end of his tail like so and this is his little baby so we'll have a little garland of babies going around touch let go touch let go go I mean I might not have done that as a whole project it's just to show you the shells and the I mean I could go absolutely mad and put um, <laughs> I'm not going to do though I could put a seahorse in the middle I think it might look a bit do you think it might look a bit nutty doesn't really I'll do one anyway because it doesn't really matter because I'm not keeping it I should be washing this off and uh, doing another project on it because we've decided as we've got about 2,000 finished pots in here we need to um, stop painting so many because it's all usually Drew's demos. Got to go. Oh, Drew, where are you going? Get a tooth, something to do with tooth. Oh, yeah, I think you said. Oh, okay. Bye, Drew. So, um, right, so uh, we'll have a seahorse in the middle. We'll make him um, brown. Brown. Is there anything anybody you'd like to see after this? Or well, we can call it a day. Don't know what to keep you long. What about Sylvia? You're very quiet there. Right, so a little bit brown in his head. Smudge it in on his tail. And then I'm going to put a bit of orange in his side. This is just showing you what all the different ones look like. And he could have a bit of a pink belly. Oops, too much. 
blend, 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 blend. Oh, actually, a bit of red on the end of his tail. I think would look like. Whee, there we go. So um, then in the middle, can we see? Uh, where is the middle? About there. And then little touch, little wiggle. There we go. Ah, that's quite nice. Yeah. Well, it's a bit of a seaside thing going on. And then we'll get a stylus. We'll give everybody some eyeballs so he can have a little eye. My eye, my eye. There we go. There we go. Do you think it needs a band? Should we give it a band? What's what should we do? Should we give it a band with this? Do you want to watch this knobbly thing being giving bands or what? Let's have a look. Any question? Anybody answering? Yeah. Gosh, you are very quiet. <laughs> <laughs> We did live, we do ask questions. Anyway, I'm going to do a band. It might spoil it, but I'm going to do it anyway so you've seen it. So I'm just wiggling it in the paint and then I'm going to go tap, 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 all around the edge and it gives it a frosted little edge. The kids really like these. There's all sorts you can do with these. You can do actually roses with these, if you believe. On another occasion, I'll show you how to do that. There we go. Mm. Actually, I think I quite like that, Bring, incorporating that blue. Okay, so here we have it. Finitoed. And if a little tip, if you want to see what it looks like when it's finished. Oh. You give it a little spray, a little, little watercolour spritzer and just spray it. And then it'll show what it's going to look like when it's finished. There we go. So you can see if you do finished pieces, you can do this in no time at all. Thanks, Emily. You're right. They do give really good results. Okay. Emily's just saying that she loves the sponges. They give so good results and they're easy to use. They are indeed. And you just got did, you just ordered this week, didn't you, Emily? You just got them, I think. Is that right? I owe you a box of Kemper tools. Is that right? Or was it with somebody else? Another Emily, I can't remember. But anyway, so what is there anything else? Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll sh um, because Drew liked the moon being done, I'll show you how to do the moon with the moon sponge. So so that's that little seaside thing going on. So if I show you here, look, let's have a banding wheel. I'm gonna um band it so to band. Uh, we'll band with, um, let me think, um, oh, we'll band with orange and red. So uh, I'll start with red, I mean orange, and uh, use a fan brush. Ooh, fan brush. And I'm going it, to, it's already been base coated white. I'll make sure it's in the middle. As I said, this is just a piece of scrap bisque that we <laughs> look at it like a dog phone like we use we use these um in in the studio we give these round pieces of clay that i just cut with a big cookie cutter and fire and then people practice on them um and uh, i i can't see what anybody's saying oh, emma got her sponges today oh good 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 um yeah i um so I give I have I have about ten of them, and then if somebody wants to play or practice with the sponges or brush strokes or whatever they want, or or you get a naughty child that's uh, bored and and finished, and you've got colour left on your plate, we just give them these and they play on them, and then we just wash it off. So Andrew's just asking is what you're actually using paint wise, and what you can use paint wise using the sponges. So like um, said, are you using acrylics or glaze? Oh no no! I, you you can if you you can use acrylics with the sponges, but you'd have to wash them out very quickly. I don't know why I'm looking over there because I can't <laughs> see you. Um, yeah, you'd you, really. you, you'd have to wash the sponges out as you would a brush. You wouldn't linger long. I do a lot of t-shirt painting with the sponges, um, with fabric paints, and and I have used acrylics because I've done uh, walls 
at uh, like, like decorating your bedroom and I've done acrylics on the back of chairs with the spongets but this is a I'm doing a glaze project and I'm using um color to clay which is my own color line there's 18 colors and it's it's high density pigment which is um it's an M gobe, so it's a bit like because uh, I don't know where you're from. Are you from England or America? Um, if you're from America, you can't get these. If you're from England and Europe, you can get these. I don't know if I I don't know about the shipping of these into America, but um, so you would use M gobe, so you could or you could use one stroke like EZs or um, Gares, um concepts. Well, you could use concepts, which yeah, concepts or fun strokes. Um, any product really with them you could even use glass paints with them so um, I mean these actually Sylvia uh, Clayton her husband Mark does plays with uh, fat fries with glass and stuff and he's been painting with the glass with these and had good results which I'm amazed and she was going to post some pictures she he paints the glass and then puts another piece on top and then fires it and it's true to colour. So anyway, I'm going to fan this. So close your eyes because this will wobble because as I say, it's just a piece of scrap bisque. So I'm just, so what you do is you center it first and then I'm thinning the colour a little bit. I've thinned it a little bit. It's very, very strong as this colour. And it goes a long way. I mean, generally, I mean, that piece I've just done, I've probably used about a teaspoonful of paint slightly more and then I'm going to put a tiny bit of red on the outside so it's a bit like a sunset going on. So again Emily's asking what paint is like that in America so you've just it, said... it, it, In America you to be exactly like this you would use a uh, like a clay based paint so that would be Duncan it would be cover coats uh, Mako do one which is an M go but and I don't think Colorobia. it Colorobia um, they will they'll have a clay based yeah. one. Shannon said colour will be a mix angles. Yeah, yeah. Uh they all I think they all make angles. So right, I've just um so I've just banded this out. Okay, so I've just got a bit of um sunset thing going on there. Just blending it in. So I've just gone from uh yellow to orange to red. Oops. With a with a fan with a fan brush, <laughs> just splatting everything. It's a good job. Oh, you, have I oh God, I have a splatted on the wall. It doesn't matter. <laughs> we're, we're decorating anyway. Hopefully, <laughs> it's a good job. <laughs> so right, so that's banded. That's actually quite like what um, Dylan does when he's on the wheel when he shakes his hands and the clay goes all over the place. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. So now I'm going to use the back of one of these sponges because it's nice and smooth. And this is where I'm going to have my sun or my moon. So I'm going to twist that, push it down slightly, and twist it. Can you see that? Like yeah. that. Take it off. Uh, just. Um, do it one more time with another with a cleaner one. Take it off, and then I'm just going to just put white on the back of this sponge to make it a nice at this moment white moon. So just smudge that in. That's rather a lot. God. <laughs> there we go. Just let that absorb into into the sponge. Like that, oops, Liz. and then just touch that, and that's going to make my uh, nice background uh, back to back to white. Just pouncing that up and down a little bit, so I've got my knobbly white uh, moon at the moment. So I'm just going to let that dry a minute, and then um, what could we do on here? We could do um, what we did. Yesterday, that silhouette of the witchy poos and the bats and stuff. See if we've got some in here. So I'll just do it black, a black silhouette. So let that, I'm going to let that dry a little bit so I can do the moon thing on top of it. And so we'll have the moon in the top 
top. And then we'll do a, we'll start off with a, a bit of a tree. So if I'm going to do a tree, I'm just going to get um, this is like a long sable uh, brush just to quickly do. It's very wet, thanks. Load my brush with the black. And let's have a tree. So I'll we'll go wiggle, 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 wiggle. Oh, I'm shaking, I'm so hungry. As long as you don't get hungry. Ah, yeah. Can we tell them about... Dylan gets a hungry, doesn't he? He does, yeah. <laughs> we had, um, oh, what did you say about a muddle? A guddle. Oh, yeah, that's it. Because we, we're packing up the studio because we're having it tiled on Monday. And um, Liz came in this evening and um to a what is it guddle a guddle i said what the heck's a guddle is that the same as a muddle it's a scottish mess <laughs> and it's a scottish mess <laughs> okay so there you've got your, your bit of a tree going on uh and then you could get this little chap again just give it a little wipe in the bowl I'll just get a little squashing paper. Just dry it with a bit of paper. I pound a few leaves on it. So this is a nice one for kids to do for Halloween. So uh, let's have a look. Dun, 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 dun. Gosh, it's weird. I feel like you're talking oh, to yourself. Thanks, Shannon. She's saying it's really cute. There we go. We've got a, we've got a little tree going on. And now we'll put the uh, Halloween things on. So we've got, uh, let's have a look. So, uh, oh, I wonder if that's, no, it's not quite dry enough, that yet. So I'm going to start with the, the wick. No, I'm not. She's going over the moon. Um, <laughs> Oh, I don't want pumpkins. Um, bats. Bats. So I've got this lot. Yeah, I'll have some bats. So we've got bats. So here's a little bats, okay, which come in uh, tiny, small, and large. Obviously, I'm not going to blend any of this because it's all Halloween y. It's just black. And so all you do is, is that, is that too far away? No, that's right. Is that right? So I'm going to just touch the bat and let go. Touch, go, touch, let go, touch, let go. And then we'll have a, no, we won't have a witch, we'll have a moon first. Right, so here's the moon sponge again. So I'm going to put a little bit of grey into, just smudge with my fingers, look, with the grey. And a bit of grey black. And a bit of blue. Yeah. Yeah. You see that? It's a bit difficult to sort of see the colours because the sponge is blue. So, um, and then I'm going to put, here's my moon, which uh, I think are you all the same people as we already have. Um, I, I, I banded it and then I wiped it back out with the back using the back of one of the big sponges and then I base coated it the back of the sponge and made it white so I'm going to put that there onto the moon and just give it a little push and there you got it look see lovely moon like that okay and then I'm going to put a witch on so the witch, I can just pounce it into the black. <clears throat> the thing about doing using these sponges is, is you have to, when you put the colour on, what you don't want is you don't want to tack the bisque, you know, by really pushing it down and distorting it, because this is high density sponge which has been intricately lasered. It's very, very labour intensive, which is why unfortunately the manufacturer, when I ordered today, said, um, 
it would be four weeks because they've got they've just come back to work and it's a skeleton staff of about half of what they normally have so and he said that they have to stand over the machine while the laser is doing it because um if uh, when it's cutting and it's very intricate it can set, set on fire so nobody it can't be left unattended and um, they've got better things to do than watch my sponges all day at the moment so it's going to be a while so it's basically stock that I have which I've probably got about I don't know about 600 sponges in stock but um, True's got a few of those so here we go look one little witch and she's going to be flying over the moon so we'll have her there God, I've got shakes I'm so hungry and push her up and down and there there she is, one little witch, and she comes in two sizes, that size and a smaller one. So and we have got a really good sponge that says trick or treat, but unfortunately um, I haven't got one at the moment because the webman took a picture of it and he hasn't brought it back because he's he's on a go, go slow for nine weeks, been looking after his kids. So, um, and then we'll put a big bat there, a little big bat, let it soak up. Make sure it's sucked into the sponge and we'll have just a where can he go? He can go there. Big bat. Big bat and a couple more of these little bats. There we go. So look at what ten minutes or less? Five minutes, six minutes? Got a Halloween plate. And I am going to well, I have drawn a spooky house, but they can't um, make me it because the person who puts it into the computer for me is not going to be back at work for a few weeks. So, so that's 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 it really. I mean, has anybody got any questions? Does anybody want to see anything else? Hope you've had a nice little view. So we've made this, and if you joined late, uh, we did that one as well. Do you get any questions now? Are we very quiet? Are we saying anything? No, no, no. Okay, you don't want to ask anything about sponges? Mm. Or they, um, so we've got sponges, moon sponge, and this textured sponge, which actually comes in black as well, but very fine in the black. So this is, this is actually the rose that we make that, with it. If you can see on there, it's made little roses. Of it with this sort of thing just by twisting it so okay then so nobody's got many more questions no 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 okie dokie okay focus well he's been lovely showing you a few things and um, hopefully we'll do it another time and um i just uh, hope you will from shannon I said thank you for your time. It's a pleasure. And I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope you'll enjoy sponges when they, the next lot arrive, which will be in, uh, if I, uh, they're going out on Monday. So uh, we're just waiting for some last few orders that Drew's got to come in. If, and if it, any of you guys want any sponges, if you let her know immediately, they get packed up on Sunday. They're going on Monday and they should be about, I think last time there were six days. Okay. So lovely to hear from you and and lovely to see we'll hope to see some of you from UK soon. Okay, have a good evening. Bye. Bye. How many do you